Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts. Today's episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts is all about snapshots. Snapshots are a way of taking a snapshot of the state of a virtual machine at a given point in time. And what we save when we take a snapshot is everything about that virtual machine from the hard disk, um, from the which means the applications and the versions of our operating system that's installed, which updates are installed. We also store the memory state of the application, so the running state. We also store the configuration of an application. So everything is there so that you can, at a later date, revert back to exactly that point in time in a virtual machine. Okay, so let's see how to take a snapshot. And to do this, I'm going to use my uh, my Windows XP session that I've got running here on my normal system. Uh, by the way, I'm using VirtualBox version 3.1, which uh, featured a kind of overhaul of the snapshotting system. So if you haven't got 3.1 or later, I recommend that you go get it. So let's say I've built up my Windows XP machine just how I want it. So I want this to form my base image. So I'm just going to use Notepad here and type some text in here to show you that uh, uh, the state of the machine as a kind of a aid memoir for how this machine is currently set up. So to take a snapshot, you simply drop down the menu and say take snapshot. And VirtualBox will freeze the machine at that point in time and you can label that snapshot. So let's call it the, the base image. And you can put stuff in there such as the time and date or some kind of like other description of what you want this snapshot to represent. So I'm going to put the date in here. It's December the 23rd. Santa's almost coming. That's 2009. And VirtualBox will save everything. Disk state, memory state, configuration state. So there we go. If we go back to the VirtualBox graphical user interface and go to the snapshots tab, you'll see that we now have a snapshot called base image that was taken a little while ago. Okay, so now let's say that we want, we're going to install some dodgy software and we're going to mess this thing up. So I'm going to say that this is now a messed up version of XP. Now, um, that's if I do get into a state when I mess things up, one of the things that I can do with VirtualBox is I can power off the machine and restore the current state back to the last snapshot base image. So if I do this right now, and I start up my Windows XP virtual machine, you'll see that we've reverted back to the clean, pristine base image state. So that was a simple example of how you can use snapshots to uh, provide some kind of protection against messing up your machine. But let's do something a bit more ambitious this time. On this version of Windows XP, I have got Internet Explorer version 7. Now if I was a web developer it might be useful to have a VM that was always in IE 7 mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot of the virtual machine with Internet Explorer 7 on. Internet Explorer 7. Now you may have noticed the little notification button down here and if I click on that, you'll see that Windows has got updates for me. And one of those updates is Internet Explorer 8. So let's go ahead and install that. And we'll fast forward this part of the movie because we don't want to sit and watch IE8 getting installed. So after installing, rebooting, starting over Internet Explorer, we see that we're now on version 8. So now let's take a snapshot of this VM at this point and let's call it Internet Explorer 8. Switching back to the VirtualBox um, user interface you'll see that we now have a bit of a snapshot tree where we have Internet Explorer 7 and Internet Explorer 8 in there. And we can revert back to save Internet Explorer 7 by simply saying we want to restore the snapshot. And then once we've done this, if we start up our VM again, you'll see that we have Internet Explorer 7. 
Now you can get really sophisticated at this point because you can then start adding uh, other um, components in like so for instance I could install this update of Java and take a snapshot of that within there so you can have snapshots of snapshots and develop a very sophisticated tree and you can then move backwards and forwards between each of these instances just as you need. Now snapshots can be used for various uses uh, for instance you can use it as a backup so let's take for instance the fact that you're thinking about installing some dodgy software and you want to re preserve the state of your machine right now just in case you mess it up by installing this software it can also be used for storing multiple variations of an operating system so let's say you wanted to run a Windows XP with and without Service Pack 3 you can use snapshots for doing exactly that or maybe you want to try it with a various uh, a version of Java um, and you want to be able to come back to an earlier version of Java to test out your software at a later date. You can even use snapshots as a kind of audit trail to show what you were doing at a certain point in time or how you built up your virtual machine before things went wrong. Um, or you can use it um, in an environment where you automatically revert back to a known good state when you finish using the virtual machine. So say you were kind of running an internet cafe and you wanted every new customer to come in and have exactly the same experience as they start off using a virtual machine instead of having to inherit the mess that the last customer left it in. So snapshots are uh, an extremely powerful mechanism. One thing that we should say is that they can also be quite discongly as well. Uh, saving the state of all of these different virtual machines may take up uh, a fair bit of your storage. So if you find you're running out of disk space, um, check your um, snapshot trees and uh, you can coalesce these snapshots by simply deleting snapshots, which doesn't delete the data, it simply merges the data into a another um, disk image. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's show, and if you need more information about Snapshots, don't forget to check out the, man the manual, or go and see the gang over at forums.virtualbox.org. Join us again soon on Fatblog TV.